All right, welcome back. We're fixing to go out here and feed these ducks again. I've been outside already. Uh, but uh, as you can tell, they are still wanting some dog food. All right. There you go. Oh, here's another chicken. There you go. Good job. Not my toes, not my toes. So, like I said before, we got a, these are, those are the Rowans. These are the khaki camels. Um, I know one way you can tell when a khaki camel is young, if it's a male or female, if you can tell. Only on the khaki camels, I know the male's feet are orange, the female's feet are brown. But on the Rowans, they're both orange. So... So we got about a week left before we get our meat birds. Uh, trying to figure out this setup. So we got a hundred coming. Thinking about either sticking them in that chicken tractor or hanging the heat lamp up in there. They may not need it as much because it's in the 90s. But here. I'm in a debate. Do I put plastic down on the bottom and just leave the sides open because I want air. I don't want them stroking out on me. But, and that should be plenty of room. You got the heat lamp hanging up there. And then I'll hang another one up there with that hook. Got their waters can hang here. The feeders are going to be on the ground just a big debate I put the stuff in it it's uh, that and it's uneven ground I don't want it that, that's a bad thing about a meat bird uh, on those like uh, there's Cornish Cornish cross and the Cornish rocks and all that they their legs are have a tendency to go out on them uh, but if I put plastic I can fill everything pack it down so they're walking on level ground So that's what my that's another big thing. You know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the plastic in here. Um but then I'll just pull the roll the plastic out and I can actually use the uh chicken manure for uh for uh my garden. But uh so we got the turkeys out there and so thinking about actually taking this fence here and running it out this way to this pole and then this will open all this grass area up for them chickens. I got a little bit of an area right there but if I have two sections I can control where they go um, which will help with the grass because chicken manure will, with all that, um, that uh, ammonia nitrate will burn the grass when it when you get a lot of it as you can tell i got bald spot right there up and down but they were doing a lot of walking there it's all starting to grow back got my rooster that's the one that's been kind of looking down older one but i've been feeding them normal layer and then i give them a little bit of uh then i give them a little bit of dog food and he seems to be looking a whole lot better He's had a limp for a long time. The only thing I think of is his his spurs were were bothering him, or if he was poking himself with them, because they're pretty long. Um, I tried to, because on, on a rooster spur you can actually you can actually pull it off. You can uh, take a pair of pliers and actually just wiggle side to side, and they'll pop right off. But his are so been on there so long, they're not coming off, and I didn't want to do any more damage to them than what's already done. But you can tell he's got a little bit of a limp. And I've, I've checked and searched and I can't find anything wrong other than 
either he's trying to make them spurs go over each other or he's, he done, he's just so old arthritis. I don't know. Sorry about that. Sun's hitting that lens. Oh, there's all the ladies and there's her, there's his son. You can see that big old red comb. That's, that's his son. And then, of course, there's his other son. He's second in charge. That, that's, that's the big boy. I like these roosters because they're very protective of the hands, but not so protective they attack me. Uh, I gotta, I gotta cut some of their wings. You can tell that one, that female got over there, but that's all right. That's let him have company, do what he does. <clears throat> hmm. Not a lot going on today. Got to get ready for work. Like I said, I'm thinking we'll line that with plastic. Um. I just don't want it too much air to get to them. And like I said, I could level it out with the uh, wood chips. I actually got the wood chips I got from a local, uh, local, uh, uh, he builds cabinets and all kinds of stuff. Wood shop, Oleo Acres Wood Shop. You should check them out. He does really good work, really good work. It's amazing what he does with what he has. I mean, just amazing. But anyway. All right, well, uh, I'm on. my next video will probably be when the birds come, when the uh, meat birds come in. I'll do a video on um, on their arrival and everything. They should be calling me, they usually call me about 3 or 4 in the morning, pending. I've had them call me about 6. But um, just whenever they come in, they'll call me for go, go pick them up. I haven't even gotten the email that they sent them yet, so... But the, the dates they're supposed to send them is today all the way through Friday. So we shall see. I'll be back with y'all. Thanks for watching.